one of the biggest and most exciting commissions I have ever gotten uh, is the one for the St. Francis Xavier Church in Belmont. Big windows uh, done in digi-glass technique and the brief was uh, uh, that the whole church, especially windows, uh, is to be inspired by the book of the Apocalypse. And the work uh, to be done in a way uh, that we could see in, uh, or we can see, in the Gospels and Acts, the St. John's Bible, which combines the traditional and the new, which dances that uh, wonderful ambiguous line between the, the classic and the modern traditional. Without knowing how my work is going to look like uh, that magnified uh, on a big scale, uh, I knew that the work for the first time, uh, original work, will be displayed in the church hall. So the original works uh, were to be uh, made into huge windows, not as stained glass windows or any kind of uh, handcrafted windows, but in a new uh, so-called digi-glass technique. That basically, uh, the way you uh, paint, uh, uh, that is the way uh, the windows uh, show the, the artwork. And uh, there are some little discrepancies but uh, mainly that, that's pretty much it. Uh, the only problem was the, the scale, and uh, the scale was kind of pretty uh, disconcerting uh, because out of those four or five windows, one of them would be, let's say, 1.6 tons. So that it was agreed that each artwork um, uh, had to be done on a panel or on a board and linen on it. Uh, that linen uh, was bringing the texture into the whole scene and uh, that was very beneficial uh, or that, that is beneficial to the high size or high scale kind of uh, window that we are going to have later. So the first painting in the series for me was uh, the Lamp of God wherein I tried to combine my many years of uh, experience uh, with traditional iconography and uh, gilding as well. Uh, especially gilding here, I tried to uh, approach in a new way and uh, try to kind of come up with something that I haven't done before. The um, Annunciation window um, has been done almost exclusively in gold with gilding effects with different types of gold uh, and uh, is uh, completely uh, is geared to, to look completely different from ins inside, from within the church and from the outside, hence the rugged, uneven kind of finish or outline of the, the image. This particular artwork, as well as the other one with the Christ in Mandorla, um, has given me a bit of a trouble because it was uh, a little bit too big and awkward shape to handle on my own all the time completely. The last of the four big uh, windows also needed to have uh, Christ in a way connect with the first uh, artwork, uh, uh, the Lamb of God, uh, which I did with uh, the uh, octagonal uh, red star behind the, the halo of Christ and with the ethereal uh, translucent um, glazing, if you wish, uh, of uh, Christ's robe, uh, which uh, is pretty much in uh, the world has been painted. One thing that you necessarily get when you enter the church in Belmont uh, is the sense of humbleness and uh, the feeling of uh, being uh, belittled by the sheer size of the church uh, and these uh, translucent windows. My work, which doesn't did not feel anymore as kind of my work, so to say, 
uh, despite the fact that I have done it, uh, it already kind of belongs to another realm. Uh, it was delightful and exciting to see how the light plays with those uh, windows, with the images within these windows, and how the whole thing changes from a moment to another, and how uh, uh, radically, basically, the, 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 those windows look different both from inside and